Good morning. In this video, I want to walk you through the journey I envisaged for um, the OptiBet Power Builder setup right through from researching systems to the record keeping element. Um, so there's there's lots of videos on different parts of the sheets, but this is this is one where I'm just going to go right through the full journey to researching a system, building a system, exporting the bets and to the record keeping. Um, so what I've done here, I've reset the database back to a time pre-COVID of fair normality um, to 21st of October 2019. So we're sort of into the full season last year. Um, and I've reset all the sheets back to that. And I've got the odd sheet for the, cor for the following week. So that the fixtures that would follow on from this date. So I'm going to walk you right through the journey um, of of building and finding a system and then um, actually applying it on a week odd sheet basis. So I'm going to focus on the optimize tab because I want to do a big search to find my system. So this is everything cleared down. The initial columns um, that we want to use is obviously our returns column. What is it that we're looking for? What type of system? Um, you can only search one return at a time. So we've got the six Betfair prices. This is eight o'clock in the morning on um, when the sheet is produced, when the odd sheet is produced, eight o'clock on a Friday for the weekend, eight o'clock on a Tuesday for midweek. And then you've also got the pinnacle prices, um, which are taken. They're the last closing price before pinnacle, before the match kicks off, recorded by pinnacle. Why use pinnacle? They're deemed as the most accurate bookmaker um, and um, and the sort of their closing price is deemed as the accurate price. So we can we can compare either whatever one we want to. So I'm going to focus on being a lay the draw man, lay the draw. So we've got lay the draw there. Um, and if we go to the data tab, this is now looking at this column here. So it's looking at the lay the draw odds from Betfair at eight o'clock on a Friday morning. So once I've set what I want to look for, I'm now going to go into the filters and you can see there's just a long list of filters here and these all relate to the headings across the sheet. So they just follow the sheet across and you can search by pretty much anything. Um, so I'm going to start off looking at competitions. Uh, we can't search dates uh, specifically because the way that the sheet works and Excel work, it converts dates into American format. So you put in the 1st of May 1 5 2020, it will give you the 1st of January, it will go 5 1 2020. But you can search by seasons by typing in the 2017 uh, 2018 to mirror that column there. Uh, but again, that's mentioned in numerous videos. But I'm going to start with competitions. So I've got competitions and we have to type this in. So just take care typing. It is easy to make a mistake, but what you type in, and you only have to do it once to set it up, what you type in must mirror um, exactly what is in the data tab. Um, so the league names need to be absolutely correct um, to what is showing in this column here. So we've got to absolutely copy those names as they are, which I have done there. So I'm going to search all four leagues. And then we get into, right, what do I want to ask it? So I want to lay the draw, but I don't want to lay all prices. So my first my first filter, in effect, that I'm going to look for in these leagues is to lay the draw um, between specific prices. So I'm going to ask it to search for a range of prices. So I'm going to go to my draw bet fair rate. So we're looking for returns in this column, but now I only want to search between certain prices. I don't want to be laying draws at 15 or 16. Um, so I'm going to do greater than equal 4 greater than equal five, greater than equal six. And again, just take care typing. Once you've set it up, just do it as normal, greater than equal seven. And then if I want it to search between prices, you must put the headings next to each other. So I'm gonna put the same heading again, but this time I'm gonna do lower than. So I'm now gonna do less than equal five, less than equal six, less than equal seven, less than equal eight, less than equal nine. Now, oh, wrong. Miss my typing, that's what I mean. It's easy to make a little error. So now you can see I've got 80 combinations. Those combinations are made up of, it's looking for lay the draw, but it's gonna go Syria, 
draw price between four and five. That's one search. Then it's going to go Syria, draw price between four and six is two searches. Syria between four and seven, three. So it's going to keep doing all those and then it will do Syria five to six, five to seven, five to eight, five to nine. And it will go through the league searching all those combinations. Um, you know, just doing that manually on your own would take so much longer. I'm now going to say, right, I'm only interested in certain values. So the basis of the odd sheet is I do my odds. We have the Betfair odds and we compare the two and look to see where there's areas that we can bet in. So we've got our value column. So now I'm going to ask it to search column N, which is the draw value. Um, and you can see we've got a range of numbers there, 30 down to minus 15, just in that short number of games. So I'm going to say, right, I actually want to key in into those value areas. So I'm going to go down to draw Betfair versus FTS. And I'm going to say, right, I'm going to start at the minuses. Greater than equal minus 15. Greater than equal minus 10. Oh, that's my minus symbol. Greater than equal minus 5. Greater than equal zero so i'm going up in fives from minus 15 and again because i'm searching between two numbers i'm going to put the same header in again draw betfair versus fts and i'm going to go less than now so now i'm going to start at positive numbers less than equal 15 less than equal 10 less than equal 5 less than equal zero so now you can see our combinations are up to 1280 so it's searching between these prices and is it between these value figures, between minus 15 and zero, between minus 15 and positive 15? So it's doing doing 1,280 searches we've got it set up for. Uh, I'm going to add a couple more filters. I'm going to go and search the colour columns. Um, so we've got our home colour columns. These are these columns over here. You can search by the numbers, the specific numbers designed in AC and AI, which are the actual points, average points one. But I'm just going to search by the text of, act, of actual colours. Um, and what I'm ask, going to ask it to do, I'm going to ask it to exclude a colour. So to exclude, we type less than and greater than, and then type the text term we want to exclude. So I want to remove grey games for the home team. And I want to remove grey games for the away team. So I'm basically saying here, I want you to search the database, but without grey. So the, the less than and the greater than, take the grey out. Why do I want to exclude grey? They're the early season games. We haven't got any form figures. So I'm basically saying I only want to get involved in this after teams have been playing and we've got some form behind them. So I've got 1,280 combinations across all this that it is, I'm going to ask it to search the database. We then have our save above. So basically we can say, what do we, how many points are we interested in looking at? So if you set it at 10, it will save every system that it finds that makes more than 10 points. Um, I'm going to set it at, let's set it at 50. So I'm only interested in points over 50. So anything it finds that makes 20 points, it's not going to save for me. It's just going to ignore. Um, you can then, if you were doing a massive search, and you can set this up to do over a million combinations, um, you can ask it to save after X number of tries. So let's say if you were doing a million searches, you could set this at 10,000. And on every time it completes 10,000 of your million searches, it will save the sheet. It just means that if something happened, you know, you got halfway through and your computer crashed, you haven't lost everything. You'd still have those systems saved. Um, so we'll set that back to a thousand so I can show you what will happen. And you can set this to yes or no. So when it does that save, a little box will pop up here if it's if you leave it on yes, saying, do you want to quit? Are you happy with what it's done? Or do you want to go on? So if you were doing a million and you had it set on 10,000, when it got to 10,000, it would stop and it would ask you that question. Do you want to continue or are you happy to look at what you've got? If you have it set on yes, and you think you're going to do a million searches and you'd say you want to put, set it up and go to bed, it'll only do 10,000 if that is set to yes because it will stop and get to that message. So if you're going to do something where you just want it to run, set that to no. Um, I'm going to leave it on yes just to show you an example of that pop-up. So I've got it to look at 1,280 combinations. I want it to save anything that makes more than 50 points. 
Um, I want it to save after a thousand tries so I don't lose my initial and I'm going to ask leave the option to quit on and so I can show you an example of how that works. So once we've set this all up we then just click run um, and that will now go off and search that data sheet for all those combinations. So I'm going to click that button and you can see how quickly it works. So optimize for these inputs. Yes, please. And now you can see, look how quick the counter's going. You just cannot do this manually. Um, and it is fizzing through. You'll see this start to populate down here as it starts to save systems that it finds. The best result so far is 68 points. Um, and it's currently found five systems that have made over 50. Now it's found 10, 25, 30. Um, but you can see how quickly this is doing all these there. As I say, to do it manually is impossible. So we've now done a thousand, less than a minute, and it's done a thousand. And this is what pops up. It says, I've done a thousand. Do you want to pack up and have a look at what you've got? Or do you want to continue? So I'm going to click no and let it run out those final 280. So I click no, please carry on. And you can see our best result is 119. So it saved here 77 systems. Out of the 1,280, it has found 77 systems that have made more than 50 points. It's sorted them by order of profitability down here. And we can examine them in more detail. So you can see down here all the systems. Now, because we did searches, you can see a lot of them may similar, be similar. So 118 points in the Premier League where the draw price is between 4 and 6 and the value is minus 15 to positive 15. Um, but you can remove, what, 86 bets, lose 10 points profit, only going between minus 10 and 15 so obviously there's those 86 bets are in that area between minus 10 and minus 15 in the value so you get all your systems listed you can see we've got some in pretty much no Bundesliga ones interestingly enough but we've got Premier League Syria and um, Primera Division so now I want to look at them in a bit more detail. So I'm going to click the report button. So they also go in here in a drop down box again in order. So you can look at any one in more detail and they go from the most to the least. Um, so I'm going to take that top one, 118 points. I always, why wouldn't you start at the most profitable? I always do. Um, and I'm going to click um, the report button. So I've, I've loaded that system and I'm saying, right, break it down for me. Show me what you've got. So. That's now gone off and doing its thing. It says it's report created for the system. Um, shows you everything, just click OK. And the first thing we see is the criteria. So that's the criteria that it has searched. Lay the draw, English Premier League, greater than equal four, less than equal six, minus 15, a positive 15 with no gray teams. If at that stage we just click the data tab, it's actually applied the filters so you can see the list of bets there. So you can see it's got Premier League, it's got the draw price between four and six, it's got the columns between minus 15 and 15 in the um, value, it shows us our profit, 11870, and it's excluded. You can see clearly it says does not equal grey, does not equal grey. Where I've put that less than, greater than, it's excluded grey. So it's automatically filtered that for you. So you could have a look at that and see you're losing runs and things if you wanted to. Um, but go back to the report. You've got your graph. You can see it started badly. Um, ups and downs, which is like what I like to see, the visual representation. We've won 118 points in 688 bets, 0.17 a bet. And then we've got a breakdown of each season, how many bets we had, how many we lost. And then down the bottom, you've basically got that report there, um, again, but relative to the home team. And you can just have a quick fizz down that and see how many, you know, how many losers maximum you have on the trot. It just lists everything for you. So that is how we run a big search. Um, and what we would want to do with that now, we could go ahead and say, I'm going to take that system forward. But the next part of the vision was to put that through the power builder so that we can actually examine it further, get it saved as a system and start to get our selections out each week a lot simpler than we have done in previous years. So now I've opened our power builder um, and you'll see that it is um, 
it's on the same time span. 21st of October, that's Sheffield United Arsenal game. I've rewound back. One note for people who use both. Um, if you're going to do a big search on the OptiBet, it's best to have the Power Builder closed. Excel uses quite a few resources. It goes a lot quicker if you just have the OptiBet open on its own. Um, and then once you've done it, then open the Power Builder up because this is this doesn't have to go searching um, like that. So it's all cleared down. So basically I've got my OptiBet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this criteria that we've got here, there. So you can take it off that report page. I'm going to take that criteria and I'm going to put it into the Power Builder sheet. So it's um, English Premier League. So again, we, this is just a little bit of manual filtering. English Premier League. We've got a draw price between four and six. So we just go to our draw price number filters between four and six and we click OK. So we're starting to build our system in here. We've got a value figure between minus 15 and positive 15 in the draw column. So I go to my draw column there and I can go number filters between minus 15 and positive 15 and click OK. And finally, we're going to remove any gray team. So I would go again back to my power builder and the color indexes and just uncheck gray i'm not interested in gray teams on the home and the away and you can see that that absolutely mirrors our um, data we've got 118 points we've got all the games down so we've now got that in effect as a system into the power builder all I want to do now before we can, the great thing with this is we can save that, we can edit it so easily um, when we explore it further. So I'm going to go into new here and I'm just going to name this system and save it. So I'm going to say Ian Premier Lay the Draw 1. So it's Lay the Draw System 1 in the Premier League. So I just name it and click OK. And that system is now saved in our drop down menu. So if I clear the sheet and use this button to clear the sheet, it clears down. And if I want to load that system up, I would just click that button and click load. And it will go back. So that is all there is to saving a system. There's nothing, nothing harder. It is a one tick uh, what name it click new name it save that is it and you've got your system saved um, and then when you load that system it'll automatically load it all up so that system is saved we could then now go into the builder um, and explore it further and that is for another video what i'm actually going to talk about want to get to is the process of what we actually do week on week. So now we need, I'm going to clear this down. Now what we would need is the odd sheet from the week of the following week. So this database goes down to the 21st, as we know. So the odd sheet would come out and we want the next fixtures in effect that we would get on a Friday. So I have now pasted the fixture so it was odd sheet week 10 so basically I've just gone on that odd sheet and selected all the data right across to um, the book column so just literally go down and across and select the full lot um, like that you just select everything that you need and copy it and then you just paste it into the power builder so now this has got the next fixtures in um, uh, and all I'm going to do now is say in my new system that I found, have the, are there any selections this week? Can we then find them, get them into um, our PL sheet, put some stakes and bets in, and then see what happens with the results? So I've got the sheet cleared down after I, I clear it down, then load, paste the uh, week's odd sheet on, um, and then I want to see if there's any selections. So I'm going to click load on the um, system so I, you can load you know you can have as many systems in here as you like i'm going to click load on the ian premier lay the draw and it's going to load that up 
and you can see it's loaded it up. This was the last game Tottenham-Watford, which corresponds with where we've done our research up to. We have got three games. It would have been funny if we didn't have any games this week, wouldn't it? We've got three games that qualify. Burnley versus Chelsea, Norwich versus Man U, Liverpool versus Tottenham. Um, normally we'd run off to Betfair now and put those on, but we might have three or four systems. So if you had another system, then you would load that. Um, but what we're going to do first is export our selections. So by exporting the selections, just by clicking that button, so I've loaded it, pasted in the odd sheet, loaded it, click export selections, it pulls those three games out automatically, and it has put them in our profit and loss report. Um, and all I'll say to people who are doing this, do not delete row six. I will keep repeating that. Um, so, And then you could click, and if, if you were doing this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you could click on Friday, see what selections you've got that day, what day on the Saturday. Um, it will always list them in date and time order, so you've got them chronologically. If you had another system, you can load that up and do exactly the same. So for each system, load it up, click export selections, and it will move them to this page. So you'd have a page here now with all your bets on. This is all the ones I want. Um, and I'm going to go off to Betfair and put my bets on. So as you put your bets on, this is the only manual bit you need to do. Um, and people say they don't like record keeping. We've made it as simple as possible. I put my bets on and I'm having a lay the draw. It tells you what um, my primary bet is draw lay. My secondary bet is home back. So that system there, you can see it. Um, it's down to the exported selections. But if I clear it. And I'll load it again so we get all the games rather than just those exported ones. The primary bet is lay the draw, which has made 118 points. And the secondary bet is 42 points for back in home. So it automatically will list the top two. You can turn them off using the check marks if you wish. And it will correspondingly do that in the builder as well. Put those and again, you can turn them off. Um, and if you turn it off here, it will turn it off on the front sheet. So that's the that's the primary and secondary bet. So I'm going to have £50 laying the draw on all of them. And I put my odds that I actually got. So here you can see the draw was 4.3. But let's assume I couldn't get that. I could only get 4.4. And I could get 4 in that game. Uh, and I could get 4.5 in that game. That's my actual there. And exactly the same, I'm going to have £100 on the home wins. So I'm going to have £100 and £100 and £100. And the home wins, Burnley were 4.7. So let's say I got 4.9. Uh, Norwich were 4.5. Let's say I only got 4.4. And Liverpool, oh, Liverpool, Tottenham. How is my luck? That is, I just spotted that. How is my luck there? Liverpool versus Tottenham. Um, 1.56 let's say that Liverpool would have shortened and I only got 1.5 um, so it will fill in these just for the formulas uh, your commission rate you set here you will notice a difference between the database results and what you get because the database results have always been based on 5% commission they've always been based on what it was really when when I started doing the databases and that's the worst case scenario you will so you will always make more if you've got a lower commission rate than the database shows it actually makes quite a difference um, but you can put your own commission rate in here whatever it may be so we'll leave it on two percent because most people on those Betfair offers last year are now on two percent so I'm going to have 50 pounds laying the draw on all these games and a hundred pounds back in the home teams on these three games that's it. I now go off and place my bets, or I've placed my bets and I've put the data in here. That is it then for, in effect, the Friday process. The next phase of this is the matches being played. Did I win or lose? And can it then fill in the results for me? So now I've got um, the database. So you've, the games have been played. I've gone in on the Monday night, Tuesday morning, and the database is published with the results on, and it's this week, the week of the 25th of October. So um, all you do again is just grab everything. So I just highlight the lot, 
everything right across to the book column all the way down I've got everything I'm going to copy it you can either use control and C oh I've pressed the wrong button there uh, I want the copy button sorry copy not paste um, and I go to my uh, power builder find the game but just be careful make sure you paste it in the right place so it's this first blank blank row in effect on the 25th of um, Oh, just can't quite, my mouse is packed up on the 25th of October there. And I will right click that and paste in. And now you can see it's put those games in with the results um, ready for us, done. So the database in there is now up to date, can save it at that stage. And you've got all the latest games and results into your power builder. Um, scrolled a bit too far down, sorry. Let's just get back so that all those games are in there. But if you go to your PL now, you can see obviously we've got all the 1x2s in. We go to our PL, it has automatically put those in there. So it, it's put in that that was an away win. Chelsea beat Burnley, Man United beat Norwich, and of course Liverpool would beat Tottenham. Um, and it puts your results in. So there isn't a draw in there. So we've won, we've won our three lay the draw. So we've won our £49 after commission. But I've lost the hundred pounds back in Burnley. I've lost a hundred pounds back in Norwich, and I've won forty-nine pounds back in Liverpool at the odds of one point five. So it's to my actual bets as opposed to the odds that were on the odds sheet. So overall, then you've got your overall column. I've won forty-nine pounds, lost a hundred pounds on that game for minus fifty-one. I've lost forty-nine pounds. Uh, one forty-nine pounds lost a hundred for minus fifty-one, and I've won forty-nine pound for the lay the draw and forty-nine pound for the backing home here for ninety-eight. Overall, I made a loss on the weekend across those three bets to my stakes at my prices of minus four pounds. Um, and in the profit and loss report, that goes straight in also. So it's now put it in here for me. Drop down minus four pounds. My graph has dropped down October minus four pounds. Um, this obviously would populate as we went. It's gone into my November, October um, profit and loss by month, profit and loss by league, profit and loss by season. The whole thing has been populated simply by pasting in the results there. So there's absolutely no excuse now for anybody to say, I can't build a system. Um, or it's cumbersome putting the bets on and making macros and I'm useless at record keeping. You can do everything you need in this one sheet. So I hope that this video has been useful for you, walking you from the journey to using the Optimize, uh, OptiBuilder Optimize tool through to building the system into the Power Builder, to exporting the bets, to listing the bets, putting your bets on and recording your P and L. As I say, there's plenty more videos to come regarding um, the use of these tools, but I hope that you've enjoyed this one and it has made um, some sense to you.